Hello, today is Wednesday, November 23rd, 2022. I'm Rajab Bumsangi from BSTV. Welcome to the newspaper highlights today. I'll be having the Citizen Daily News in The Guardian to see what is written by writers of different newspapers. Starting with the Citizen, the big story of grounded Airbus jets back in service Soon, the national carrier is expected to receive a spare engine before the end of the month, which will make it possible for one for the three grounded Airbus passenger plane to be back in service. Story on page two. The other story, a 24 accused of murdering police officer set free. Story on page two. Why Bashiru is in hot water, commentators say the criticism being directed at a former CCM Secretary General is self-inflicted, uh, given that he was in charge at a time when dissent both within and outside the party was ruthlessly uh, suppressed. Story on page 4. But uh, the other story, new EABC chair outlines COVID recovery a plans U.S. China defense chiefs hold a productive talk. Page 16 will get more detail. This is the citizen at the back of the citizen. Saudi's coach not dwelling on crazy World Cup victory. Uh, the Saudi bounced them back uh, from conceding an early Lionel Messi, uh, Lionel Messi penalty to produce one of the great World Cup shocks thanks to Al Sahil Al Shehri equalizers. Mayele stars as younger regain top position in mainland uh, league. Uh, this is the citizen coming to daily news. Samia assures reliable services, president of the United Republic of Tanzania. Samia Sulu Hassan has reassured of the government determination to work for the interest of Tanzanians by ensuring full accessibility to social uh, services. One of the quotations uh, by President Samia, all these projects aim at enabling uh, members of the public to work day and night. The government will continue putting in place proper infrastructure that support economic and social development of the people. But also the picture here shows the President Samia Sulu Hassan unveils silo complexes and modern warehouses in Babati, Manyara region. Yesterday, uh, there is also uh, uh, Agriculture Minister Hussein Bashe. Tanzania unveils new action plans to tackle antimicrobial resistance, a story on page three, but also Simbazi Basin to attract a huge economic undertaking. The story continues on page three. The other story, massive transformations awaits uh, Isles uh, tax regime. A story on page three, uh, Tanzania on track in implementing AF ARA 100 initiatives. Business and finance uh, news to daily news. Sunlam life pays precision airs crash victims. The other story, Burundi automates its borders. Uh, Burundi has automated the customs procedure in a drive to facilitate efficiency for cross-border trade within the East African uh, bloc. The story on page 16. The other story, Tamgo enters the market through Mary Water acquisition. Also, SBL expands Moshi Brewery. This is the daily news coming to The Guardian. Uh, the big story, Samia Farm on Food Security Grain Silos Drive. Uh, the president is Samia Sulu Hassan, said that launch of the modern grain storage facilities Will help to strength, uh, will help strengthen for the security, uh, reduce post harvest losses, and uh, improve livelihoods. The other story: government formulates a drug resistance action plan. Also, there is a quotation here: the president launched the an eight kilometers road network built at uh, Tamak level in Babati town, which she said was going to stimulate tourism and open up various economic opportunities. Equity Bank EABC tie up in capital access platform, but also court free uh, court freezer all Loliondo pal, uh, police murder suspects list. Also uh, the other story, court freeze all Loliondo police murder uh, suspects list. 
Singida construct new Keto Dips uh, HCL transport 3,000 ton of cargo. Story on page 4. Coming to the back of the Guardian, Simba Sport Club aims bullish Mbeya City FC. Uh, also, youth out uh, to use sport betting to improve income call. But also the other story, South Zabusara organizers unveil lineup for 20th anniversary jamboree. The Netherlands are strike late to beat Senegal on World Cup return. Let me wind up today uh, here. I am still uh, remind you to follow us on our social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, but also YouTube channel, Biz TV. I'm Rajabum Sangi. Nice day and uh, good morning.